in this video we shall discuss how to treat the goodwill when a new partner is admitted into the partnership firm i have already uploaded video on how to value goodwill how to calculate goodwill under average profit method super profit method and capitalization method if you have not watched that video the link i have given it in the description box now let's move on to treatment of goodwill is nothing but what journal entries are to be given in the books of the partnership firm at the time of admission of a partner so this journal entries will depend upon three different situation these are the three different situation when the new partner brings goodwill in cash when the new partner does not bring goodwill in cash and the goodwill amount paid privately privately means personally the new partner is paying goodwill amount directly to the old partners he is he is not bringing it into the business so if the amount is not brought into the business and if it is paid pri privately then no entry is needed to be given in the books of the partnership firm so no entry is given in the books of the partnership firm now let us take this situation when new partner brings goodwill in cash so uh, when we uh, admit a partner he brings capital when he brings capital in the form of cash what entry we will give we will give cash account debtor cash or bank account debtor to new partners capital account isn't it when the new partner is bringing capital in the form of cash this is the entry we will give cash account debtor to new partners capital account so at the time of admission when the new partner along with his capital if he brings goodwill also what entry we will give cash or bank account debtor to premium for goodwill account so when the new partner brings goodwill at the time of admission then the entry will be cash account or bank account debtor to premium of goodwill account okay so this goodwill brought in by the new partner will be shared between the sacrificing partners sacrificing partners in sacrificing ratio so what is this sacrificing partners and sacrificing ratio okay look here for example there are three partners a b and c these are the three partners these are the old partners who are running the partnership firm now they admit d into the partnership firm when d is being admitted only b and c are sacrificing for the profit of d so here the old partners are a b and c but only b and c are the sacrificing partners so this b and c only will get the share of this goodwill premium only the sacrificing partners will get the share of this goodwill premium in what ratio in the sacrificing ratio what is sacrificing ratio how to calculate the sacrificing ratio i have already uploaded video so do watch that video so this share of uh, this uh, goodwill premium will be shared between the sacrificing partners in the sacrificing ratio okay so what is the entry the entry is premium for goodwill account data to sacrificing partners current account or capital account why have i given here current account capital account because if it is fixed capital or fluctuating capital if that will decide whether we are going to credit it to the current account or capital account so okay. these are the two important entries when the new partner is bringing goodwill in the form of cash we have to give entry for that that is cash account data to premium for goodwill account and this premium for goodwill will be shared between the sacrificing partners in the sacrificing ratio for that what entry we will give premium for goodwill account data to sacrificing partners current account or capital account okay the next is the sacrificing partners this sacrificing partner they may decide either to retain to retain the goodwill in the business itself or they may decide to withdraw the goodwill from the business withdraw means what their portion of goodwill that they have received they may decide to take it in the form of cash 
so if they decided to retain this is the first situation if they decided to retain no further journal entry is needed but if they decided to take the goodwill with them if they decided to withdraw the goodwill with them then we have to give one more journal entry that entry is partners current account or capital account debtor to cash or bank because they are withdrawing they are taking the goodwill so partners current account or capital account debtor to cash or bank account these are the three entries that we will give when the new partner brings goodwill in the form of cash okay now when the new partner does not bring goodwill in the form of cash what entry we will give this is the entry new partners current account debtor to sacrificing partners cap current account or capital account we will give only this entry because this first entry which we have seen here this first entry will not come because the new partner is not bringing cash only if he brings cash we can give cash account debtor to premium this will not come and this second entry instead of premium for goodwill what are we changing we are changing into new partners current account this because this amount is due this amount is due so the second entry we are altering new partners current account data to sacrificing partners current account or capital account and here again this will go only to the sacrificing partners and it will be shared in the sacrificing partners in the sacrificing ratio okay it will be shared between the sacrificing partners in the sacrificing ratio okay now another important thing that is if goodwill already exist in the balance sheet this will come for both the cases whether goodwill is brought in cash or goodwill is not brought in cash if the existing balance sheet consist goodwill in the existing balance sheet if there is goodwill then this additional entry we will give for both the situation when goodwill is brought in cash or goodwill is not brought in cash what is this if goodwill is existing in the balance sheet old partners capital account to goodwill here i have not used the word sacrificing partners i have used the word old partners that means in our above example a b c are partners these are the old partners so the goodwill in the balance sheet will go to all the three partners the goodwill premium will go only to sacrificing partner but the goodwill in the balance sheet will go to all the old partners so old partners capital account data to goodwill account is this clear and here this goodwill will be shared between the old partners in their old ratio is that clear here uh, the goodwill premium will be shared between the sacrificing partners in the sacrificing ratio but the existing goodwill in the balance sheet will be shared between all the old partners in their old ratio so this is a glimpse uh, a complete detail about treatment of goodwill if you understand this journal entries are very very easy are you clear so now let's see how to work out a problem this is the first question that i have taken a and b are partners in a firm they admit c as a new partner for 1/5th share of profit c is to bring 20000 as capital and 4000 as his share of goodwill and the sacrificing ratio is 5 is to 3 give necessary journal entries four different situations are given when goodwill goodwill is retained in the business goodwill is fully withdrawn uh, 50% of the amount of goodwill is withdrawn and goodwill is paid privately so we will record for the first situation situation a okay so the new partner is bringing in capital and also he is bringing in goodwill okay so how to record that bank account debtor bank account debtor to sees capital account new partners capital account to premium for goodwill account premium for goodwill account i have written it as a combined entry bank account debtor okay c is capital account what is the capital that c is bringing c is bringing 20000 as capital so write it as 20000 okay and what is the amount of goodwill that c is bringing look into the question it is 4000 so write 
add it and debit it. If you add it, you will get 24,000. So I am debiting 24,000. Now you have to write the narration. What will be the narration? Cash bought in by C as capital and premium for goodwill. Now the premium of goodwill that is brought in by the new partner will be shared between the sacrificing partner and the sacrificing ratio. What is the sacrificing ratio? It is 5 is to 3. That means both A and B are sacrificing. It will be shared between both A and B. What is the entry? Premium for goodwill account that are 2 sacrificing partners capital account 2 a is capital account how much will a get totally 4000 is the premium totally 4000 is the premium into sacrificing ratio what is the sacrificing ratio look into the question it is 5 is to 3 so 5 divided by 8 how did i get this 8 this 8 is nothing but 5 plus 3 okay so 4000 into 5 by 8 will go to A. How much will we get? We will get 2500. In the same way for B. 2 B's capital account. 4000 into 3 by 8. How much will we get? We will get 1500. Add it, you will get 4000. What is the narration? Being premium for goodwill shared between A and B in sacrificing ratio. That will be the narration. You will have to write it. Okay. Now go back to the question. Under situation A, what is given? The goodwill amount is retained in the business. Retained means the A and B are not taking the goodwill with them. So if the goodwill is retained in the business, no further journal entry is needed. Okay, so that's all. This is the answer. Now for situation B. What is given in situation B? The amount of goodwill is fully withdrawn. So if the amount of goodwill is fully withdrawn, this 1 and 2, entries 1 and 2 will be repeated. We have to record capital and goodwill brought in by the new partner and the premium for goodwill will be shared between the sacrificing partners in the sacrificing ratio. So 1 and 2 will be repeated. After repeating that, when goodwill is fully withdrawn, what entry we have to give? One more additional entry we have to give. A's capital account debtor. How much is uh, A share of goodwill? He is completely taking it. 2500 is A share of goodwill. He is completely withdrawing this. So 2500. In the same way, B's capital account data. How much is B's share of goodwill? It is 1500. To bank account. Since they are taking their goodwill, cash goes out of the business. So to bank account, the amount is 4000. What you have to write the narration. What will be the narration? Being goodwill taken, withdrawn by the old partners. That will be the narration. You have to write it. Is this clear? Now let us record for situation C. What is given in situation C? 50% of amount of goodwill is withdrawn. So in situation C also, first entry and second entry will be repeated and for withdrawing the same entry, the entry will be the same. A's capital account debtor B's capital account debtor. Now, what is what are they taking? They are taking only 50 percentage. Actually, their share is 2500. On this 2500, if you calculate 50 percentage, we will get 1250. In the same way, C is also taking 50 percentage. So, 1500 into 50 percentage, we will get 750. To bank account. How much we will get? We will get 2000. 1250 plus 750 we will get 2000. Then we have to write the narration. What will be the narration? Being A and B withdrawing 50% of their goodwill premium. Okay, this is the journal entry. So when they are withdrawing amount here, they are withdrawing full amount 100%. 
In the situation C, they are withdrawing only 50 percentage. Okay. Now, situation D. What is situation D? Goodwill is paid privately. So, I already told you. If goodwill is paid privately, no entry is needed. No entry will be given in the books at all. Is this clear? So, I hope you understood this question. Okay, this is the last question that I have taken. X and Y are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Z is admitted into partnership for one third share. He brings 10,000 as capital but not in a position to bring any amount for his share of goodwill. So, he is not bringing goodwill in cash. But goodwill value is given, it is 30,000. Give necessary journal entries and the sacrificing ratio is given, it is 3 is to 2. The first situation is when there is no goodwill appearing in the books of the firm and the second situation is when the goodwill appears at rupees 15,000 of the firm. So, under situation A, we are recording entries under situation A. So, first we have to record for the amount of capital that is brought in by the new partner. The entry is bank account debtor to EZ's capital account. How much capital is EZ bringing? It is 10,000 rupees. So, 10,000 in the debit and 10,000 in the credit. See, unlike the previous problem, in the previous problem, they recorded two premium for goodwill. But in this question, premium of goodwill is not brought in cash. So, this goodwill will not be recorded. Okay. So, write the narration. Being uh, EZ's capital uh, brought in the form of cash. Okay. Then the second entry is, the premium for goodwill should be shared between the Sacrificing partners in their sacrificing ratio. Since it is not brought in cash, the entry will be this current account debtor to sacrificing partners capital account. Who are the sacrificing partners? Look here, the sacrificing ratio is 3 is to 2. That means both the partners are sacrificing. So, to X capital account, how much will be right? Value of goodwill. Look into the question. The value of goodwill is 30,000. So, 30,000 into 3 by 5, you will get 18,000. Then, 2 Y's capital account. Y's share will be 30,000 into 2 by 5 we will get 12,000. Totally 30,000 in the debit. Narration will be being premium for goodwill shared between X and Y. Okay. Now what is the first situation? No goodwill is appearing in the books of the firm. So these are the two entries that we will give. We will record capital and the goodwill will be shared between X and Y. There is no existing goodwill. So, that's all. Only these two entries. Look at situation B. When goodwill appears at rupees 15,000 in the books of the firm. That means there is existing goodwill in the balance sheet. So, in this case, what will be the entries? The entry 1 and 2 will be repeated. We have to record capital. We have to record this is its current account to X capital and Y's capital. Apart from that, since there is goodwill in the balance sheet, one more entry we will give. That entry is capital account. What is the old goodwill that is given? It is given as 15,000. So, 15,000 into this 15,000 will be shared between the old partners in the old ratio. What is the old ratio? Look into the question. It is 3 is to 2. So, into 3 by 5 data. How much will we get? We will get 9,000. Then Y's capital account 15,000 into old ratio. It is 2 by 5. Data. We will get 6,000. 2 goodwill account Totally 15,000. 
so i hope you understood how to record journal entries when a new partner is admitted 